Hello everybody, we are back in our chit chat with our Utopian. Today we have Gus, the pretty Gus. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah, so today we are going to uh, talk about an expatriate living in Malaysia. How does it feel and how does it really go, especially for Gus? Think first, I would like you to introduce yourself to our audience name, what you do for a living, where you come from, and how long have you been in Malaysia? Fabulous! <laughs> I am Gezel. Uh, first of all, good afternoon to everyone of this audience of Utopia. Yes! I am 28 years old and I am from Iran. Since 2017, I moved to Malaysia uh, from Persia. Then I started working here, uh, opposite everyone's thoughts. I'm not a student, I never studied here, I mm -hmm. just came here to work. Actually, I came here to, to stay for four months, but it's already four years I'm wow. here. <laughs> yeah. It turns from months to years, guys. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a business developer, I work with international people. I'm into health and wellness, education and uh, fun. I got a lot of things to ask you. So first thing first, why Malaysia? How, how does it start? Hmm. To be honest with you, I had no plan to come here. Mm -hmm. um, I was traveling in other Middle Eastern countries, yep. nearby my own country. Mm -hmm. But I was always thinking to go to Australia, study there and mm -hmm. make a better future mm -hmm. for myself. Yeah. Um, then I have been advised by one of my best friends in Iran that mm -hmm. you can go to Malaysia. You uh, then after the for, you can stay there for a while, and yeah. then after that you can go to Australia, Canada, or New Zealand or other countries. Mm -hmm. Because actually, for us, for, for Iranians, it's not too easy uh, to travel other countries. Ah. Uh, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, then I came here, mm -hmm. and when I met a very warm, welcoming people, mm -hmm. and a very very nice job offer I got. I was like, well, why not? Oh, I will cool. stay here. Yeah. Cool. Generally, how would you describe your journey from the start till now in one word in Malaysia? Wonderful. Wonderful. Especially my uh, experience uh, with people. Mm -hmm. Malaysians are very well communicated, yeah. very warm, welcomed. And you have a lot of Malaysian friends. I have, mm -hmm. I have. <laughs> yeah, I work with Malaysians. Mm -hmm. I live with Malaysians, and I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I'm here. Seriously. This might be the most uh, typical questions out of all. What do you love the most about Malaysia? <laughs> what do I love the most? Uh, the culture. Malaysia is a multicultural country. Mm -hmm. uh, Honestly, I did not expect that. I was thinking when I go to Malaysia, okay, I will just meet Malaysians. Uh -huh. But when I came here, I was so surprised. I met Indian Malaysians, I met Chinese Malaysians, mm -hmm. and people from other countries. Mm -hmm. uh, they were here like Middle Easterns. Many Middle Easterns are living here. Mm -hmm. Even Africans. I yeah. even met Americans. I got American friends in Malaysia. And Europeans, I was like, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Every, everyone has their own beliefs, they have their own culture, mm -hmm. they have their own food, which is so, so interesting. And I'm so foodie. Mm -hmm. So, Malaysian food? I love it. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what do you love the most? Uh, satay. Satay, wow. I love satay. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest thing, mm -hmm. um, the personal hardest thing mm -hmm. I experience is I'm not with my family. I couldn't get the chance to meet my parents. Mm -hmm. my, my sisters, they came, but my parents still knew. Ah. Especially, you know, after pandemic and the mm. closure borders. Yeah, it gets uh, harder to enter ha Malaysia. Exactly, exactly. You mm. know, the second hardest thing I experienced in Malaysia is to return my deposit from landlords. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know deposit is a hassle, you know, mm. even for Malaysian. Yeah, we yes. got, yeah, we yes. got scammed a lot by deposit. <laughs> it's the kind of issue that no one can solve it, you know. Mm. It, <laughs> luckily, Utopia, we have zero deposit, right? Yes! <laughs> That's why I'm here! Besides the hard things, this uh -huh. must be an, the easy things. You think uh, when you live in Malaysia, mm -hmm. you feel you are at ease. What are the things? Communicating with people. Mm -hmm. Making friends with people. Mm -hmm. Do you speak Malay? No, I just know a few words. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, 
honestly, you know, the, the, the advantage of this country mm -hmm. is everyone knows English. It is not like other uh, Asian countries mm -hmm. that where you go, when you want to speak English, they're like, which planet you came from? <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're gonna be like that. They're yeah, gonna be yeah, like yeah. that. And everyone is very well communicated. Mm -hmm. I love it. I really love it. You know, when I go out, People mm. are so sociable, they yeah. are so warm-blooded, they are yeah. very good in communication. Do you have plans to go home? <laughs> a very challenging question. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, with my audience and you. Mm -hmm. No. Oh! <laughs> okay, what holding you back? Um, actually, it's the main reason is... Um, I do not want to... to I do not want to go to... The details, mm. but uh, the situation I have here, mm -hmm. uh, my my position, my job experience, mm -hmm. and everything is already made in Malaysia. Yeah, it's I would love yeah. to travel there. I miss my city. I miss my country. Mm -hmm. Of course, mm -hmm. I will. I will love. But if I want to go back there forever, mm -hmm. no. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for being with us today. It's, it's Thank you for it's having such a me. pleasure to have you. My so uh, guys, if you want to see more video like this, so this give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs>